when in chart mode, you have the bottom toolbar here, which is very useful. We showed you that the select but, uh, button there was to click on the news when you have the news in the zero module here. And some other things are very, very uh, nice to know. Here it says edit quote. So if you have a bad quote on screen, that happen very often, which are sometimes good quotes, but they, they, they just make the, the, uh, the chart difficult to read. So anytime you use this button, edit quote, you could select any of the quote in the, in the software. Let's find one that is not good, but they're, they're pretty well. They're, pre they're pretty good right now. So let's see, you would like to modify this one. So when you select the edit quote, you click on one of the quote, you see, it's right there on the screen. You can edit the new quote. But it is most commonly used with the volume. I'll tell you why. You see that right now, you don't see very well those volume because there's one that's too big here. When you select edit quote, you can click on the volume here and reduce them. So the trick is put them just a little bit. If they're too high, put them a little bit uh, uh, higher than the one that was there before. So I'll show you some example that uh, makes that you can't see the actual volume here on that uh, stock. So you reduce this one. You, you can reduce those three. Now you can see the beat uh, that goes along with the cycles of the volume. And there's sometimes lots of uh, big example, like here again, you got another one here, there, in there. So I really encourage you in cleaning sometime the volume so you can see the other better. But uh, this is not the point. What I wanted to show you is that you can use all of those things, like the temporary line. If you trace this line, go back and come back, go, and go to and look. I'm on Detour Gold, I'm going to Horizon, going back to Detour, they're gone. These are temporary. Just before you have permanent line, th those lines, if you go there back and forth, you come back, they will always stay there unless you use the select button and click on it so you can either move it and, uh, at one end or the other or Okay, and, and move it again to somewhere else, or even delete it in using the delete button. But you can use all this, like the text. You can type anything and click on the screen and, 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 and put it on, on screen. And choose the color and, and put it red or, 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 or green, you see? You want to take them up, you said delete, indicator, all. So they're gone. So now what I want to show you is amazing. Why don't you keep track of everything you do? Look on the number three of my list here. Let's see this is your portfolio. You have five stock in your portfolio and you want to know, you want to remember what you have done. So what's going to happen here? You can use lines and color and say, and you can tra have your own code. So green line and number means you bought something. Red said you sold. Pink could be what you want to do. So let's say you bought 500 share at 1155 here. You sold 300 at 1240 there. Since that time, the stock has never reversed anything. So I'm going to choose a yellow, a, 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 a orange line here. here. So. Uh, so the stock never uh, reversed its uptrend. So you kept tracing support line everywhere, and the, the stock is still going up. So you placed here a rectangle and say, hey, if you ever get right here, I'm going to sell you. And that's, what you, that's the only thing you have to remember. No papers, no numbers on, 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 on the list anywhere. It's clear. It's right there. I've bought 500 there at 11.55, sold 300, 12.40, and right now I would get out about 14.25.
you get to the next stock, you bought 10,000 at 39 cents here, you've sold 5,000 at 52 cents here, and you want to get out at 55 cents, at 45 cents. If it goes down, if it goes up, let it go, my friend. You got 2,000 share at 560 here, you sold 1,000 at 620, and uh, if it goes a little bit lower again here, I'm going to sell it. And that's what you are planning. So 200 at 5250 for research in motion. You sold 100. At, you want to sell. It's pink. It's not sold. You want to sell. 100 at $60. Uh oh. The stock never went up that high. And now it seems like it doesn't want to go any higher than that. Oh, so you have set yourself your limit and say, okay, 54. This is it. I paid 52.50, and if I sold, uh, I didn't sold any. But I said that my limit is 54, so I'm going to keep some money. If it goes there, I'm selling. And then here's the last one: 1,000, 10.51. You sold 5,000, uh, 500 at 11.55. What's going? Uh, what's going to happen after? We don't know. You s will still wait for the stock. You have planned uh, your, your, the, the buying, you are planning where you want to sell, and you're following it without having to find the right paper. Well, where is this transaction again? You write everything on screen, and it's so easy to follow your position, and especially see if you do what you said you were going to do.